and in this video we're going to be doing a little Logic Pro tutorial on how to make a rap beat. So in this one you're going to go to File New Logic New Project Software Instrument Create. So I'm going to be using all plugins that you can use on, on Logic if you've got the basic version. Make sure you've got advanced tools turned on. Um, I think it was preferences, advanced tools, and then make sure all of that is ticked. So to do some of the things in the other parts of the tutorial, you're going to require that. So just make sure you've got that turned on. Today we're going to be doing just creating the simple a few different tracks to get a bit of a get a bit of a beat going and I'm making up I'm making this melody up on the spot so so it might not be perfect and we might make some changes so you can see the process I go through so you're going to open up alchemy so I'll do that again you go to the instrument bit here and go down to alchemy stereo and then open it up so on here I'm using my Key, musical keyboard to insert, insert the notes so you go to window show musical typing so first of all we're just going to test out some sounds so we, we want a, a lead synth so to get our main sort of the main tune of the uh, the beat so we'll just go through a few I've got a little I'm just going to do that very, very basic four note pattern. So we can expand on it. And then we're going to try and find a sound that works on it. So I'm going to add that. So that's going to be the tune. Now I need to find a sound that sounds good with it. So. so at the moment, I'm just looking for a sound. Let's just go with this one for now, just for the sake. So I've, I've gone on Browse and Browse here, and I've gone on Celtic, Celtic Flute and Strings. So if you want to change things, you can go on Advanced, and you can change the different parameters here. That's for another video, though, because... Alchemy is quite a complicated instrument, so for now we'll just use presets. So to record, we need to check it to the right uh, right BPM. So let's let's get the click going, and let's get it in time with that. Okay, we'll go we'll go with that BPM. We'll just stick with that for now. So the first thing we're going to do is bring the volume of the track down to 0 to uh, minus 3 decibels. And the reason we do this is so when we're mixing in later videos, you're going to have a bit more room to work with. Because if when you're playing it, it clips here above the red, if it goes into the red of the overall volume, it's going to cause problems in your mix and it's not going to be as good quality. So starting off on minus 3 decibels for all track is a general rule I have. So... Let's get the uh, recording done. And by the way, when you record, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, because as you'll see, I'll change it all on the computer. So that was the basic melody, and I actually did it wrong there. But as you can see, I'm going to correct it. So... So I wanted it to go. Actually, first thing we're going to do is quantize all the notes. So to do that, you get your mouse, highlight all the notes, and then just press Q on your on your um, on your keyboard. So as you can see, they've all gone onto the beat. So that's quantizing. That's very important. So your music stays in time. If you want to do that manually, you just go to functions and then quantize notes. So. I've got, now it sounds like this. And I want this, first thing I notice is I want all the notes to not quite overlap, but end just before each other. So overlapping isn't a problem, but I just don't want it in this case. Sometimes you might want it to create a different effect. So 
I want my loop to be four bars long. Hang on, actually. So I wanted this to be a C. Yeah, I wanted that to be a C. So now, so I've just moved it down. So if you want to move it up or down a note, you can see it moving along here. You can see this one moving. So I wanted that to be a C there, so. And for, and I'm going to copy that over. So highlighting it all. And copying it over to here. So we've got four bars worth of this loop. And it's in time with the metronome, so that's alright. So now we're going to copy, copy and paste this over a couple of times. So that's the basic main theme of the song. Now, I've opened a new... So, so let me go back there. Uh, I have opened... Let me just... Okay. So I'm going to this button here to create a new track. So new software instrument. Um, click the I. Instrument. Go into alchemy again. Nearly everything will be done on alchemy here. All of the uh, musical aspects of it. So now let's look for some keys. So to look for look for specific parts, you can look for bass, brass, drums, guitars, keys. So if you click on them, it will appear here, all of your options along here. So keys, let's listen to this option. So I want some... That's quite eerie. So one thing I often do to see if it will work, to see sounds that will work, I'll um play, I'll play the original thing that I've got, and I'll play the new sound over it to see how it fits in, just the general sound of it. So to make sure, to make sure that this that this keeps playing, so I can fiddle around with it, I'm going to press the loop button here and then extend it to where I've got my tracks. So in this example, if you keep playing it, let's say I skip to there. It's going to start again from there, so it won't carry on playing. Sorry if this is a bit basic for you, but I am going through real beginner's tips because um, when I bought, when I first bought the software, I found a lot of the tutorials a bit overcomplicated, so I'm really simplifying it, but I'm going to get more complicated as the videos go on. Obviously, this is only part one. So... That's a bit too detuned for my liking. And tightly so. I quite like that. It creates a little bit of ambience. So I'm gonna put it down to minus three decibels for now. We'll adjust what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is for now, I'm going to have everything at minus three decibels, and then I'll start playing around with, I'll start playing around with volumes in terms of mixing to make it sound better when I'm doing my mix. So I'm going to get all the elements down first, and then I'll do my mix. If you don't, if you don't know what that means quite yet, just bear with me, and you'll you'll realise as, as the video goes on. So I'm going to just get a little chord, uh, just a, a standard A minor chord along along with this. So that was a bit of a dodgy recording, but it's okay because I can adjust it here. So I'm going to select them all, quantize notes. That already sounds quite nice. It's on the offbeat, so it creates a little bit of a different rhythm. Uh, should I copy these over? Oh yeah, by the way, to copy these over, I'm selecting all of the notes, holding Alt, holding down alt and then clicking on it and just dragging so like so and you just have to so and um, to do that to make sure it was in the right place i saw that these ones ended at the start of the third bar so these ones are going to end at the start of the fifth bar so
Okay, and then we're just going to loop this off as well. Oh, that was a little mistake. Edit, undo, delete, and undo, copy, and drag. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back and undo it. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm just putting them all underneath each other. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, so now we're going to create a bit of a different... We're going to go for a little high sound. Or should we do the bass? Let's do the bass. Yeah, let's do the bass. Now, Alchemy, on Alchemy's basses, I'm not a big fan of their basses. I quite like the deep sub bass. Now, unfortunately, I'm only playing this audio. So I've just gone to bass, deep sub bass for this one. Obviously, when you're doing your creation, don't use all the sounds I've used because it's just going to sound the same. So you want to find sounds and mix sounds together that you think sound good. Like, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear this bass because unfortunately I haven't got proper speakers. I'm just using the built in one on my Mac. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to make do and just have to bear with me for this. So I'm going to get a little bass line rhythm going like something. Just I'll just play around, see what sounds good. So now I'll record it. So, oh yeah, to record, you press record, it will count you in, and then you just keep going, and when you've finished, you press stop. Okay, so I press stop, go back. And let's take this off, we don't need that anymore. So again... I'm going to delete this half of it because we can just do the first half and copy it over so it's more consistent. So highlight them all, quantize notes, let me listen to it. And to listen to something on its own, you're going to press the solo button here. And it's also found down there. So let's just listen to that. Oh, it's starting from the beginning of the loop. I'll put this at the beginning. Okay, so that's all right. So I'm going to, I've already got them all highlighted, so I'm just going to copy them over again using Alt. Uh, yep, yeah, there. Now I've got that, let me just shift that over. So playing it all together, Take press the S to take on and off the solo. So... So I'm just going to copy this all over because, like I said before, I'm not arranging it. Um, oh, I'm thinking, shall I split this up into two videos or shall I just stick to one? I will. I'll end this video here. So this is part one, just getting the most fundamental aspects of the track which are your main riff at the top here, um, what I'm going to call this, main synth, I'll call this main synth, so to change the name you just click on it, main synth, um, keys, and sub bass, that's fine, I'll just, so I'll just put sub bass, a bit simpler, oh. sub bass, so this is the very fundamental aspect of the track. So that's what it sounds like so far. And in part one, that is the end of part one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, dislike if you don't like it. Tell me what I can do better. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in part two. I'm going to elaborate on this. And so now I've got the very framework in the track. Well, actually, I haven't got the framework because I haven't got the drums in yet. But that will come later. This is just the like the way I like to work. The way I like to work. So you've got the basic musical aspects in here. So this is the start of the song. I'm gonna start adding more other ideas to develop it later, and then we'll go on to mixing and arranging it in later parts. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in part two hopefully. And I'm just gonna save this as what shall I call it? 
YouTube project, let me call it that, YouTube project. And I just save it into my documents. So yeah, thanks for watching folks, hopefully I'll see you in part two.